So in this video we're going to show you how to use Patch Up and Go to test your network installation. First of all, we'll get our dongle and we'll turn him on, like so, and we'll plug him into our first port that we want to test. The next thing to do is get our smart remote plugs, six of them, and we'll put those into our network points that are spread around the office. Okay, so now we're down at the um, office, and um, so we've come down a flight of stairs, and we're going to plug our remote plugs into um, these network points. So I've put two in over there, which you can't see, so I'm putting number three in here, and all of these plugs are programmed with their own individual numbers, um, and you'll see why that's useful once we start testing. So that's three, four, five, and six. So they're all plugged in. We'll make sure they've got good contact. So they're all in. So we'll go back upstairs to our um, network cabinet. Okay, so we're ready to test. All of our remote plugs are plugged into the network points downstairs and our dongle is in the, um, into the cabinet. So we launch the app. We'll connect to the dongle because it's connected by Bluetooth and we will click on multiple tests uh, multiple tests allows you to um, name the site, name the location, and also give each port its own ID. Uh, at the end, you can produce a test report, which can be emailed to your customer, which I'll show you. So multiple test, um, 568B, uh, a cable type is CAT6, shielded cable, no it's not. Number of ports, we're going to test six ports. The first ID we will name panel one zero three that's the number of the port and that will automatically um, populate the last port the site name we'll call demo two and we'll call it demo location there we go done save and continue now that will give us a quick summary of what we're about to test and that'll get transferred onto the report at the end so our dongles in we will press test Okay, and that's a pass. Um, what you can see on that top on that screen is you'll see a test summary which tells you the number of tests in total you're testing. We've got one pass, zero fails, five left remaining. This little section here tells you that you've um, test, tested the first plug and it's found plug number one, which is useful information because at least you know you're testing the correct port. So we'll plug that into the next port and we'll press save and test next port. That's a pass. We'll put it into the next port. Save and test. Ah, there we go, there's a fail. So the summary now tells you we've got a fail and you can visually see what's, what the problem is. So your orange white is open. So now you've got an option here, and also incidentally downstairs on the remote plug, if you are working with somebody else, there'll be a, uh, a red light LED that comes up to say that's failed, so at least they know that that means addressing if you have chosen to work with someone else. The beauty of this product is, is that as you can see, I'm doing this by myself. Okay, so now you've got an option to fix now and test again, or save and test the next one. What we'll do is we'll save it and we'll test the next one and come back to it at the end. So table and test next. That one's a pass and then the last one. Save and test. Okay, and now it's, that's all six done. The summary shows us we've, got, we've tested six, four passed, one fail, one test remaining. Oh yeah, so we are. See, it works. So now we've tested that and that's all good, no tests remaining. Right, we'll save tests and that gives you a quick summary of what happened. Um, five, five passes, one fails, few results. Now, what we can do is from here, we can see that we've got a failure still, obviously. So we can view that. Now we can go downstairs, fix it, come back, test it again. Okay, so we can see that the orange and white is out. I've actually pulled the orange out as well while I've been mucking about. We'll put him back in. Right, that should have terminated that. Okay, so we've repaired that, um, and now we will retest it. 
So I'll go into view result, you can see the orange is open, we will press retest. Okay, now that's passed. Now we can save the results, view the results, and they're fine. So now what we can do from here is we can go into the file, go to the demo, and we can draw up, pull up the PDF results. So there's a the PDF, we can see it's all passed. We'll press send it to email. We can put our email address in, it's already populated. Let's return, submit, there's a report, and then we will press send, and there you go, the email sent. And that's how you test with patch up and go.